Hello everyone, today I'm going to be making a Pride Month doll using this Cleo Denial body and Gigi Grant's head. Off camera, I mixed up a paint to match Cleo's skin color, which took 80 years by the way, and then I painted the head in thin watery layers. And if you're wondering why I'm using this seemingly random assortment, um, I had switched their bodies before. I used Gigi's body for my Hornet doll and Cleo's head for her. So, I'm just switching their bodies completely now, I guess. After putting on about 80 layers of paint, I shove it back onto the body and start blushing it. I ended up having minimal blushing on the body, and it kind of looks diseased at this point. Nevertheless, I move on to the head. On one side of her face, I had a rainbow stripe going up to her forehead, and on the other side, I had a pansexual flag going down to her chin, because I'm actually pansexual, so I decided to add it in. After I paint in the whites of her eyes, I change gears and paint her lips pink, and then immediately change my mind, paint them purple, and the scalp black. I go with the dark brown for the eyes. Along with the black hair, it'll help to break up all the color and you'll actually be able to differentiate her eyes. After I'm done shading her eyes, I outline the eyes in black and paint on her eyebrows. Then I can get started on the hair. Uh, you can't see most of it because my hands are in the way, I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna go for a space buttons hairstyle. Now onto her clothes. I'm going to use the same pattern I used in Aslanta's video for her dress, and I'm going to be using this bright white fabric that I used in the Pure Vessels video. Along with that, I'm also going to be using this hood and shawl pattern, and also this kind of skirt pattern that I made myself. The hood and shawl are from Delightful's Hooded Cape, and I'll be using this rainbow swirl fabric. I cut out a full circle from the white fabric, and then sort of a half circle from the rainbow swirl fabric, and sew it together like this. Then I take the top pieces, sew them together at the shoulders, and then add the sleeves.
After turning the top piece right side out, I attach it to the skirts. Then I start making the hood and shawl. For her shoes, I used these shoes that were originally Draculaura's and then just sculpt over the drip parts. I'm pretty sure I can work with the bat wings still being on there. I paint on a base coat of white and start painting on all the rainbow stripes that I want to add. And then I just paint the trim pink. And she's done. I'm gonna call her Iris since it literally means rainbow. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you are curious about her flag that she's holding, I actually made a bunch of mini flags that I'll be selling on my Etsy store. Yeah, I actually have one. I'll be selling these flags along with some dolls that I made. See ya!